Long Goes to Dragon School by Helen H. Wu, illustrated by May Bisa. Today is the first day of Dragon School. Long is excited about his new adventure, and so are his classmates Camilla, Willie, and Mia. Welcome to the class. We're here to discover your unique talents. Professor McKay says. First, we'll learn how to use our fire breath to cook food. I've read that in a book. I can't wait! I can't wait! I'll be careful not to burn my toes. Oh no, Lin worries. Where I'm from, everyone breathes out water, not fire. Professor McKay gathers everyone and picks up a big potato. Who likes roasted potatoes? I do. I do. I do. I do. What can I do? I can't roast potatoes with water. Lung thinks. Now watch closely. Professor McKay says. Relax your body. Focus your mind. Feel your power. Fire, you'll find. Frizzle, frizzle, whoosh! <laughs> A bright jet of fire comes out of Professor McKay's mouth, and just like that, the potato is fire roasted and ready to eat. Now it's your turn, Professor McKay says. When you're ready, we'll have a picnic. Everyone will join in cooking the food. It's time to practice. Relax your body, focus your mind, feel your power. Fire you'll find. Camilla's face turns red. Willie sneezes out a plume of smoke. Mia coughs up a gob of ash. Long huffs and puffs, but all that comes out is a shower of water. He taps his feet, thinking, "I have to look like I can breathe fire." Long looks around and sprinkles some dust on his nose. A chew. You'll find your own path, Professor McKay tells the class. It takes time and lots of practice. Mia blows out flames and the potato cracks. Camilla spews lava and the potato turns to ash. Willie burps fire and the potato melts. Long only gushes out a spray of warm water. He fidgets and grabs some dark paint. Oops, my potato burned. You're making progress. Keep trying. Long finds a hidden place to practice, and practice, and practice some more. He concentrates. He meditates. He resorts to experimental methods. He tries drinking hot tea, eating spicy chili, and letting the sun warm his belly. But nothing works. Long only spouts out warm, warm water. This is hopeless. Long sighs. At the end of the week, Professor McKay gathers the young dragons. Are you ready for a picnic? She asks. I'm ready. All set. All set. Let's go. Camilla toasts marshmallows. Willie pops popcorn. Mia grills a fish. Well done, Long. Will you roast the pumpkin for us? Long nibbles on his claws. His tummy feels tickly and squeezy. Professor McKay, we won't have roasted pumpkin for a picnic. I'll let everyone down. He cries, because where I come from, dragons breathe out water, not fire. Long's heart aches. Professor McKay thinks for a moment. I do 
didn't know that. We use water in cooking, too. Take it easy and try your best. Long remembers what Professor McKay said. Find your own path. He relaxes his body, focuses his mind, feels his power, and... Hiss, hiss. A jet of hot, hot steam shoots out of his mouth. But the pumpkin is not fire roasted. It is perfectly steamed. When Long looks up, the entire class is staring at him. Wow! When I breathe out water, it turns into hot steam. Long smiles. I found my unique talent. Smells good. This is cool. So yummy! So yummy! You're wonderful, Long. Could you steam more for us? Let me see what else I can steam. Together, the friends roast and steam, fill their bellies with delicious food, and have the most splendid picnic ever. Long's adventure at Dragon School has only just begun. Hope you liked our video. Please subscribe.